Assault on Precinct 13, the John Carpenter original. This is actually the second feature length that he put out, with the next movie being Halloween. And it feels like a movie that's early in someone's catalog. There's some strange decisions being made, but I think a lot of great things happening in this movie too. So the basic premise is that at the beginning of the movie, some cops gun down six local gang members belonging to the Street Thunder Gang. And then the gang swears a blood oath, which they call the Cholo. I've never heard that word used in that connotation before, but they take part in the Cholo as a promise to get vengeance on the police force for their fallen brethren. So then there's also this precinct that's closing and they're moving to a new police building. So there's a skeleton crew at this particular precinct and that's where this gang lays siege on the remaining cops there. And we get some interesting dynamics out of this. We have the few remaining police officers who are there and like the secretaries and and also some prisoners, one who's in jail for murdering like seven people. And all of them have to now work together because this gang's gonna come in and kill everybody. But before you get into the assault part of the movie, actually one of the best scenes is this really startling shot of violence where the gang kills like a, a small girl. And this child actress actually, she ends up going on to be a real housewife of Beverly Hills, which I think is just kind of crazy. Put your yeah. mouth, I've had enough Excuse of you, you beast. Beast? beast? Yeah. How dare you? John Carpenter's directed two Beverly Hills housewives. Weird fact. Anyway, the, yeah, the scene is just so violent and disturbing. It's it's really a scary scene. Uh, once you get into the actual assault, we're treated with more very like matter of fact violence that just doesn't feel like glorified and, and that's really what adds to the tension. And while these gang members are approaching though, they're sort of acting like zombies, which gets kind of confusing. They're climbing through the windows and just getting shot in a straight line as if they have no ability to reason whatsoever. And that kind of kills the stakes in the movie for me a little bit. It also just doesn't match how realistic and grounded the violence is presented. It's like John Carpenter wanted to make a zombie movie, but just like didn't want to commit fully. I really enjoyed this movie. I just think that there are some kind of strange decisions and then obviously it just seems like uh, a lower budget movie with a guy who's still kind of mastering his craft. This is probably like a, a C tier Carpenter movie. As far as recommendation, I would probably say like, if you're a John Carpenter fan, I think you should check this out. Whereas if you know you haven't seen that many of his films, maybe start on, on, on some of these more popular ones. I think it'll have you appreciate this one a little bit more. Yeah.